Hi, hello everyone from B1 Engineering Placements. Today we are going to discuss about the expected questions or inferred questions from Python for infinity TQ qualifying round. Uh, in qualifying round. So this is part two. So already we discussed previously part one questions. Now this is part two questions. Please subscribe my channel. Please watch my video, my videos up to the end. Please. Share to your dear son, yes. The first question is, what is the output of the following? Here, print hello. This one is given O factorial R and O factorial S format FOO bin. This one is given. Which is the output? Which, which output will get here? Here we see that here hello hello is there so hello will be printed now here 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 we see that next year FOO is there so FOO under quotations is printed and bin in place of bin binary values this value again FOO replaced. So, and FOO is replaced. So, and FOO is replaced. So, option number B is the right answer. <coughs> what relationship is approximate for fruit and papaya? So, here fruit and papaya, here fruit, uh, uh, fruit, in this fruit, one of the fruit is papaya. That means inheritance. So option number C is the right answer. Which of the following function gets a space padded string with the original string left justified to a total of a width columns? Now space justified left side means L justification. Left L just means Left side justification with width and fill characters. So option number D is the right answer. Which of the following data types is not supported in Python? So which 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 data type is not supported in Python means that is slice. Option number D is the right answer. So numbers supported, string of supported, list is supported. Next, what is the output of the following program? D equal to one, one colon, A, A colon, one, A, two, B, three, C, B, D, D, E. Now print here, D, D, one, A, two. Now here we see that, which one is printed here? Here D D D one D two D D so D D D one two D one two means E is printed D D one D of D one D D one so D D one means we get error so key error. There is no chance to get that one key error. <coughs> so option number D is the right answer. <coughs> what is the output of the following? Print the sum of 0 and 1 is 2. Format 2, 10, 12. 2, 10, 12. Now here we see that. The sum of this 2 and 10 is 12. So this is the answer. Option number A is the right answer. Which of the following keywords mark the beginning of the class definition? The class definition we use class. So that uh, keyword we generally use. So that is the right answer.
which of the following function convert an object to a string in python so object to a string in python string in python means str x option number d is the right answer what is the output of the following print format of this value is given so now here we see that format of this value is given but as it means it is string so string we, we can't format that type of numbers so a d is the error what we, what is the output of the following program d to, to dictionary for x in enumerate of range of 2 d of x of 0 equal to x of 1 d of x of 1 plus 7 equal to x of 0 print d now here print which value is here we see that d of x of 0 equal to x of 1 so d of x of 0 equal to x of 1 f yeah, x1 plus 7 equal to x of 0, print to d. So initially 0 is printed. Next again, 0 is printed. Next here, 0 plus 7 is 7, 7 is printed. Next 0 is printed. Next again, 1, 1 is printed. 1 plus 7 is 8 is printed. And 1 printed. So like that, in the dictionary, all that uh, uh, range of two values will be printed. So option number C is the right answer. What does the following code do? Define A of B, C, D pass. So this defines a function which, which does nothing. It does not have anything. So that one is called as this function. Option number B is the right answer. What is the output of the following? Print as format of this number. So format of this number means we get the same number here. Triple one, triple two, triple three, four. So triple one, triple two, triple three, four. Option number C is the right answer. But here comma is there, so that is not uh, correct answer. What receipt correctly fits for university and professor? University and professor is in university, professor is there. That means composition. Option number B is the right answer. What is the output of the following? So dollar format is given. Here yeah, generally has means to format that number, we print that number as yes, dollar means we won't print that value. So again we get the error. Which of the following represents a distinctly identifiable entity in the a real world? So a distinctly identifiable element in the real world is object. Which of the following statements is most accurate for the declaration x equal to circle? So declaration x equal to circle. So here x dot is first x contains an int value, this one is wrong. X contains an object of the circle type, this is also wrong. The x contains a reference to a circle object, this is the right answer, option number C. Which of the following? Next question. Which of the following statements are correct? A reference variable is an object. That is not correct. A reference variable refers to an object. This is the correct one. Option number B is the right answer. What gets printed? Define F of F pass print type of F. So it prints type of F means it prints uh, nothing. It prints nothing but none type. So option number C is the right answer. Which of 
which of the following statement is true? <coughs> now you can see one by one. By default, the new method invokes the initiation method. So this one is also right answer. The new method is defined in the object class. This is also right answer. The, the in, initiation method is defined in the object class. That is, that one is also right answer. So the initiation method is defined in the object class. That is the right answer. All of these, all of these, all are right answers. So option number D is the right answer. Which of the following statement can be used to check whether an object OFG OBJ is an instance of class A or not? So here you see that object dot is instance, it is not correct answer. A dot is instance object is also the correct or not correct answer. Is instance of object comma A, this is the right answer. <coughs> Yeah, this is the meaning object EA, you check it. EA is the object to object or not. What relationship is best suited for house and door? So in the house we have door. So that means it is composition. Both house and door, both are in the in the same place with they. Which of the options below could possibly be the output of the following program? That program is given here D1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6, 8. D1 dot append of 4, print D1 now. N, L list D up to L dot append 10. D2 equal to 2, full L, print D up to. Now here you see that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 6, 8, 10. So here only 1, 2, 3 is the first uh, first one. So this is also not correct answer. Just 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. 4, 6, 8, this one. But here is given a friend here. 4, here list D up to. This is also not correct answer. Third one, type error. We won't get any type error. So this is also wrong answer. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here append 4. We get 4. 4, 6, 8, and we add the 12 value, we get 10. 4, 6, 8, 10. Option number D is the right answer. What is the output of the following print format this value? So here, uh, here we see that. Here is given comma. Comma means we get between that numbers, we get comma. So option number one comma one one two 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 three comma three three four. So option number A is the right answer. What is the relationship is best suited for employee and person? Employee and person. So from that person, choose one of the person as employee. So it is inheritance. So here employee, one of the person is employee. So option number C is the right answer, inheritance. Thanks to everyone. So the exams, the Infidic exam uh, will be held on April 2nd and 3rd of this month, April 2nd and 3rd of, 3rd of 2021. Uh, all of you follow my video lectures and all of you write the exam uh, with your uh, with your strengths um, congratulations to everyone please watch my videos please subscribe to my channel thanks to everyone all the best for your coming uh, in the exam which will be held on april 2nd and 